Perfectly Pegasus by Jesse Sima. For Tao, who helps make my wishes come true. Nimbus was born high in the sky. It was clear from the start she was one of a kind. She had wide feathered wings. She had a way with clouds. And she had the whole sky to herself. Usually that sky felt full of adventure. But sometimes it felt empty. Whenever the sky started to feel too empty, Nimbus traced pictures in the stars and dreamed of having someone to keep her company. It was on one of those nights that a perfect wishing star shot across the sky. But it fell so quickly that Nimbus didn't have time to make her wish. I wish I had someone. Far off in the distance, she could make out the faint, warm glow of the star where it landed. Nimbus flew toward the light as fast as she could, which was very fast indeed, hoping she could locate the fallen star and finish her wish. When she reached the ground, the sun was already high in the sky. It was too bright to see the star shine. Nimbus would just have to find the star without it. That didn't sound so hard. It was. Ah, uh, wah, aha! Instead, she came face to face with a mysterious, sparkling creature. Named Kelp. Kelp was impressed by Nimbus's wide feathered wings. Wow! Nimbus was amazed by Kelp's glittery horn. Whoa! So amazed that she nearly forgot why she'd come to the island. But then she remembered the empty sky and the wish she wanted to make. Nimbus told Kelp all about her search for the fallen star. To her surprise, he wanted to help. Nimbus looked high, Kelp looked low, and together they explored most of the island. But they did not find the star. Kelp had one last idea. We can ask my friends. Nimbus had never heard of friends before. They were all very pointy and eager to help. They searched here, they searched there, they searched everywhere. But they did not find the star. Nimbus was having fun on land, but she felt discouraged. If she couldn't find this star, she would have to wait for another to fall before making her wish. So Nimbus thanked Kelp and his pointy friends for all their help and returned to the sky. We'll miss you. Nimbus flew toward the clouds a little more slowly, which was still pretty fast indeed, resigning herself to watch over the night sky. When she got there, the clouds were just as she'd left them, but Nimbus felt different. Now that she had met everyone on land, her constellations were less of a consolation. Would she ever see another falling star? Would she ever get a chance to wish for friends? Nimbus wasn't sure. But then she realized that maybe, just maybe, Her wish had already come true. Ooh, a star.